New MacBook day. I am super excited. Well, okay. hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Super excited for this new MacBook Pro. I just picked up the 14 inch. This is the base model. I didn't think I needed to go any higher because the M1 Mac mini that I was using prior to this was doing just fine, but I did want some more graphics performance. So that's why I went with the base model. And yeah, welcome to my, I guess, unboxing and first impressions video. I, you have no idea how hard it's been just not to open this. But before I open it, I do wanna let you guys know that there will be some DaVinci Resolve specific videos coming for this laptop. So if that's something you wanna see, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button on this video. But anyway, with that all out of the way, Oh yeah, okay, Ugh. so much static in this house. Everything just sort of sticks. Ugh. All right, so first up, we do have the MacBook Pro and 14 inch one feels good. I know everyone's been saying it's super heavy, but this one does feel pretty good. And then in the box, we have obviously our documentation. Oh, I can't even get it out. It's like so stuck in there. Why is this so hard? Black Apple stickers along with the documentation. That's kind of cool. They normally only give the black uh, Apple stickers for the Pro machines. Uh, never before for a MacBook Pro. So yeah, no one cares about that anyway. Then we have our charger. Now, obviously with the base model 14 inch MacBook Pro, you do only get the smaller charger. Also just note, this is all wrapped in paper. The last MacBook Pro I had was wrapped in plastic. Yeah, so this is the smaller charger. I don't really care about fast charging for laptops, so that's why I didn't really pay the extra for the charger. Also, the size of it is just gargantuan. At least this one is tiny, and it is also rated at the same wattage as some of my other like multiple USB chargers. So it made more sense just to get this one. And then obviously we have the braided cable, which is MagSafe, and I am pumped on that. Oh my God, that this is just like the most impossible thing. Everything in this. Cool, braided, MagSafe cable. Out of the way, perfect. And we're going to, I am so pumped. So right off the bat, this isn't as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Everyone's just been doing videos on like the thickness, but yeah, it's not that bad. Obviously this camera is not gonna focus on my, it's just face, but yeah. And I'll open it up and it's gonna turn on straight away. Ooh. Yeah. So as you can see guys, it's turning on. Oh my God, it's turning on. I went with the silver because silver is the new space gray. It also, I think, makes the keyboard pad look a lot nicer. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly turn this off, get this all set up, and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. A few moments later. All right, so we just set it up. We're at the home screen and fiddled around with it for a little bit, and yeah, I mean, I'm so happy I went with the 14 inch compared to the 16 inch. I think the 16 is just too big. I have been sort of using this old 2015 13 inch for the past few days just to sort of, you know, go back in time a little bit. And the laptop is a very similar size, but the screen is just like next level. Like it's just so much different. And I love the way like the screen kind of curves around the edges as, parts, as opposed to like the 90 degree angle. Yeah, it's got a notch. I don't really care about that that much. It's, um, yeah, doesn't really affect anything that I do whatsoever. Um, in terms of size, like these two laptops, it is thinner than the 2015. So if you're coming from like, I guess depth wise, if you're coming from the 2015 MacBook Pros, it is thinner uh, and you just get more screen real estate, which is awesome. Looking at this, like you do, obviously you have the um, 120 Hertz display on this, which uh, vibrancy and sharpness like looks incredible. And I can notice the 120 Hertz, but like it's not like super noticeable. Even if I open like a news app, it is, maybe I'm just sort of acclimatized to it after having it on my uh, 13 Pro, but yeah, it, it looks good. 
that's all I can say. Obviously, I'm super stoked for the port SD card. I use that all the time. HDMI is probably like one of those it's good to have, I guess. You know, if you're to friends, you wanna hook it up to a screen. I have had that happen once or twice where we didn't have the dongle. And then the rest is fantastic. USB-C is pretty much what I use for everything else these days. So it's not like a big deal that I don't have the normal USB-A and that is the only adapter I'm ever gonna need. MagSafe is super, super stoked on that again. It is definitely a little stiffer. I've been playing, like I said, been playing with the uh, 2015 in terms of, um, I guess like tilting the, tilting it out, like when you twist it out. It is a little stiffer, but pretty, pretty similar. And then obviously we have this new keyboard. The black looks awesome on this silver model and no touch bar. I don't really care too much about the touch bar. I don't think anyone did, to be honest. You do have nice function keys now. The thing I'm missing though, is that on the uh, 2015 model, you have the launch pad. So when you click this, I guess, icon down here and it brings up all your apps, you do have that in the function row. And I use it all the time uh, because I tend to keep as little items in the dock as possible. It's not here anymore. It used to be function F4, but now when I do that, nothing happens. And yeah, it's just turned into spotlight, which I never like command spacebar did spotlight and that's how I would access it. So that kind of sucks. I wonder if there's another short, anyway, not important. This is the uh, my first impressions of the new 14 inch MacBook Pro. I'm super excited to just start editing on this and get it set up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see how this base model performs with DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, until that video guys, see ya.